Hi everyone, I'm Kim Cash and I just wanted to do a craft that would be a food organized craft that you could do with your children for St. Patty's Day. I've got my St. Patty's Day shirt on with my gnome leprechaun, my little shamrock for good luck, and my green glasses. So I just wanted to go through a few things with you that I think you could do with your kids in like five minutes with things that you might have around your house. And so the only ingredients that you need are marshmallows. I've got the regular sized marshmallows. The, these are jet puff marshmallows. And I've also got the mini marshmallows. These ones are jet puff too. And I've opened it and put some of them in the um, this bowl here so I could easily access them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here's the regular size and let me just take care of these for you. This is the regular size marshmallow and this is the mini marshmallow. And you can also get giant marshmallows that I've seen in the store, but I just have these two. And then I have on hand some um, little gummy bears because my husband loves gummy bears. And so the only thing you really need are the marshmallows and I have some uh, little popsicle sticks or little sucker sticks that you get at your um, craft store or at your grocery store. So the craft is to take the marshmallows and put them either on bamboo skewers or the little sucker sticks because bamboo skewers you can get in your grocery store for sure for barbecues. And I have some green candy melts. But you could use, and I'll show you, you could use white chocolate. And if you don't have white chocolate, um, you know, you can get that at the store, just in the baking section. But this is candy melts, and they just, I got the green ones for St. Patty's Day. And they're just like this. They're round, roundish, <laughs> and they're green. These are the dark green. I don't know if you can see that. And the reason I got these because I could melt white chocolate too, but whenever I melt white chocolate and I add green food coloring to it, it's more difficult to get just the right color um, unless I use the candy melts. Those are way easier. So if you have marshmallows and white chocolate and some sprinkles, I have lots of different sprinkles that I just use for baking, but you don't actually have to have those. So. I take the marshmallows and I put them on the skewers. And if you don't want to use white chocolate or um, green chocolate, you could just decorate the skewers with a little bear and um, stick those in a cup. I have these um, coffee cups that I got. Let me show you. And I filled them with popcorn because I like to give something to my neighbors for the holidays. And so um, when I can pick up little things like this, I do. So this is... Um, just a green coffee cup and I filled it with popcorn and so I thought that if I took a cup filled it with popcorn and some candies and take that over to my neighbors and just say it's for a movie night so what you could do is just fill your cup with popcorn seeds and then candy filled skewers and take it to your neighbors or give it to your kids the thing that I like to do is say it's for movie night. Maybe even get a little video and give it to them. Okay, so right now I've got my um, candy melts. The, these are, I got them at uh, Joanne Crafts, but you can get them probably at any um, Michaels or place like that. And I've got them in the microwave right now on for thir three minutes. And I'm just going to pop it open to stir it, and I'll show you. Um, I've got it in this Pyrex measuring um, container. I'll show you. And so I've had it on for about two minutes. And you can see it melts so nice, these candy melts, in the um, microwave. You don't have to temper chocolate and then try to mix in food coloring and... It's just super easy. So I would recommend if you can get the candy melts to just do that. But 
a bag, if you put a bag in the microwave in a Pyrex mixing container, I don't know if you can see that, um, you put it on like three minutes and it's still a little thick, so I'm going to put it in for, I've only done it for like two minutes, so I'm going to put it in for a few more seconds. But you want to stop it during the middle and just check it because it is chocolate and it can burn because um, you don't want that to happen. So I just kind of keep an eye on it. You could open it every 30 seconds just to make sure. But um, as you can see, I've got the cute little cups and I've got a skewer in. Just one that if you wanted your kids to do it with you, you could give them a sucker stick um, and just let them stick some uh, marshmallows on it and some little candies. You could do other candies than just the um, gummy bears. But that's what I'm doing is just uh, doing some green. You could do different colors. Um, I just like the green for St. Patty's Day. And then if this, um, if you do it too long, you know, besides burning, you can get it to kind of seize up. So I'm just stirring it real well to get out the chunks. And then all you do is take your little stick, put your marshmallow on it, and then dip it in the chocolate. And you could, you know, do it however you want, however um, much chocolate you want on it. I kind of like to have the um, partial and then you can just do, um, if you want, you could do different color gummy bears and just put them on the skewers. Well, the bad thing about a skewer is I wouldn't want the uh, little kid, little teeny kid, eating off of that because that sharp point, but you could give it to an adult like that. And so there you have it. It's a quick, easy craft, a food craft that you can do with your children. And you can also just add, you know, some, you could add some marshmallows to the cup. And then... I have some um, little, um, what do you call those, clothespins that you could put a name tag on it. And I also have the lids to the cups so they could reuse the cups. Um, so it's, it's just a fun little gift and you could just put movie night on it and I think I'll do something like that and show you a bit. This is a nice little gift, let me come closer so you can see a couple of them. It's just a fun little gift for a neighbor and you could just say it's for movie night. It comes with candy and popcorn and a nice little cup with the St. Patty shamrock for good luck. And you could write whatever note you wanted and just tape it on. But there's one and here's another one. And you could get whatever kind of sprinkles you like. I like these ones right here that have the, let me see if you can see that little hearts. And then the popcorn and if you know if your neighbor doesn't like movie night they don't watch TV or something you could fill it with beans and give them a soup recipe or um, rice and give them like a Thai food dish this one um, sunk down because it was heavy because of the two but there they are this one is just tilting back I want to fix that There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little craft. It's just a simple little thing you could do with your kids for St. Patty's Day and give it to the neighbors or maybe to your kids or your husband. Just something fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little craft. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can hit the notification bell down below and I'll list all the ingredients. It's um, super simple, like I said. You just need sprinkles and white chocolate and marshmallows and some little sticks. You could even use popsicle sticks that you can get at the store. Um, you just would want to, um, 
not use gummy bears with that. You could put the gummy bears on the top of the popcorn and say it's a candy and popcorn night. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and just happy St. Patty's Day. Bye!